Hey everyone, my name is Terrell. If this is your first time here, welcome, welcome, welcome. I wanted to do this quick intro for a tarot ahead spread because it's super exciting and it's a little bit different than what I've seen before. Now, I didn't want to do a basic 12 card circular spread or an inverted triangle kind of thing. Like you can get that anywhere but sometimes it's so uninspiring. And I did some research and found a spread that was created by another tarot reader who her name is Katie Flowers and it was really interesting. So I wanted to share that with you because I got some information <laughs> from this. And so if you are looking to step into the next year with some intention, with some information, if you wanna go when feeling your best, Check this video out. Okay, so this is the year ahead spread. And you'll notice that it's a little bit more than 12 cards for each month. Now, it is way less complicated and intense, but this is giving me a really clear picture on certain areas of my life or especially just the year moving forward that I wanna pay attention to. And I'm gonna go through each of these sections for you so that you can write down what each card placement means, and then you can go ahead and do this on your own. So you'll see that this is split up into four different segments. The first segment is right here that has three cards. The second segment is here and that's cards four through 11. And then the third segment is right here, which is cards 12 through 16, just depending on, or 18, depending on how much you want. And I will dig deep into that. And then this last section here with three cards is pretty optional, but I think it's something that you definitely want to integrate in your reading. Okay, so we are gonna move on over to this section, which is the first section, where cards one, two, and three live. Now, card number one is all about the lessons you've learned this year, 2021, or whenever you're watching this. Card number two are gonna be the strengths that you've learned this year. And card number three are gonna be everything that you're leaving behind, what you're no longer taking with you into that next year. Now, moving on to this section, section two, we're gonna go to card number four, which has everything to do with your numerology card year. This is your year card. So you can create your own, you can choose a card out of random or Using numerology, you can get your year number and find the major arcana card that correlates with that year. And so mine is the Hermit. And then this is card number five right here that represents all of the challenges that go with this card or with that year, right? And then card number six are gonna be the opportunities that you'll receive from really embodying this year card. Card number seven right here, it's going to be, what do you need to develop or nurture this year? Card number eight, what is my soul desiring for the year ahead? Card number nine is how can I serve my highest good for this year? Card number 10, what do I need to pay attention to or remember when challenges appear in the year ahead? Card number nine is how can I embrace this new year? So we're gonna go over to this third section and this is a little more of a choose your own adventure. Now, you can really just decide what sections you want these cards to represent. For me, this section is going to be career, finances, and love. These two cards, this card on the left, card number 12, 
is gonna be an achievable or potential goal that you could have in that area. And card number 13 is going to be how you can go about achieving it. And so each row is gonna be the same thing, just depending on what section you want. And you can have more than three sections. I just decided to keep it simple, do uh, you know money or career, money, and relationships. Now this next section is totally, totally, totally up to you if you wanna do, it's not necessary, but I have been really thinking about creating a word for my year. And so these three cards are gonna help inspire you to choose a word for the year. So I have the star card, the seven of wands, and the king of wands. Now, just coming together and looking at what wands represent, wands really represent taking action, right? Inspired action. And the star card really understands that through momentum, through shifts, through change, there comes action. So change, right? Change, action, inspired, fire. I can just immediately say maybe my word for the next year, for 2022, is going to be inspiration or intuition. However you decide that you want these cards to come together to inspire your word, it's up to you. Okay, so I hope you found that interesting. I really hope that excites you maybe to get into what 2022 may bring for you, right? Uh, at the end of the day, all of this stuff is just for you to dive deeper into your energy, what is calling you to focus on, what your higher self is calling you to focus on. So take this Take the spread, make it your own even. Maybe you wanna create some journal prompts or prompts for each card that, that means something to you. Maybe you have some questions about next year that you can put into this spread. Everything that you do, you can absolutely curate to make it worth your while, to make it fit you. All right, so I will see you later.